And you, who are you? Heavier than he looks. Now, listen, dog. I have done exactly what you asked. So, lest you and me figure this out. <laughs>
Don't you dare faint again. Keep your eyes open. Fuck. We both could use medical attention. Do you know a Ripadoc whom you can trust? I know. Someone. We must get to Ripadoc. Quickly! Victor... will... fix us up. We have to get there somehow. Call someone. Anyone. All right, all right. Greetings. My scanner indicates you are outside the service area. Just come pick me up. I need to get to Misty's Esoteric in front of Vix. Of course. A vehicle is en route. It should arrive in less than 20 minutes. What are you doing? Hey! Personal link is damaged. Please proceed to insert the jack below the ear, though not too deep. There should be auxiliary neurosockets between his lymph nodes, beneath the SCM muscle. If I hit the vein by mistake, he will die. Indeed, as he will if you do nothing. I think I have the socket. Now proceed to connect. I cannot hold it. I need to rest. That your blood? Misty! Pressure's tanking! It's neurogenic shock. He's dying. Gotta cut my way through the occipital bone. No other way. There is risk of... I know what I'm doing. How is he? Slower on the men than you, but looking better every day. Fuck. I don't know, Vic. Here's a ring. 
And I'm seeing shit. These hallucinations. Describe them to me. Blinding lights. It's loud. I'm on stage and I almost can't breathe. I'm so damn full of hatred. Then I let it all out into a mic. And I realized it didn't help. I don't feel any better. And then, <laughs> promise not to laugh. I plant a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing there to laugh about. They killed me, Vic. Never been so afraid. It was too real. Even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. There's a personality construct on that shard. Dreams you had were from his past. Saying I experienced another Psyche's memories? How's that possible? You two are connected in a way I can't make head or tail of. Two? Me and who, Vic? <laughs> Who's the other? Johnny Silverhand, the terrorist. Real talk of the town back in my day. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. Never given me that look before, Vic. What is it? You, uh. Don't got a lot of time left, kid. Say what now? The biochip. It's basically a bomb. Fuse lit already. You don't have much time left. Much. life. A few weeks, tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness, gradually taking over your body until one day you'll just be gone. V, it's important you get all this. You'll fix me up, right? Vic? If I could, I would, V. Believe me. But this is... It's way beyond what I know how to do. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? You want the long story or the short? Don't admit a thing, not one deep. Okay, there was, is a construct, a psyche on the chip, that of Johnny Silverhand. You jacked it in your chip slot. Nothing happened, right? Until you died. Bullet in the head from Dexter to Sean. But how do you come back from something like that? Low caliber, you lucked out. Not least thanks to another poor decision by Mr. Deshaun. The nanites off the chip started fixing the damage. Then they took your hand and coaxed you off the path toward the light. People don't just die and get up like nothing happened. Used to be true. Now it's only if they don't have a classified piece of corpo tech primed to resurrect them. What about me? My psyche? I'll make it back from the other side and what? I'm supposed to pretend change is normal? Ask the Arasaka engineers who built the thing. All I know is your mind's gonna go. Be pretty. From the biochip's perspective, your brain cells are a tumor that needs to be scooped out, while your body's an empty shell to hold the construct. So this fucking terrorist wants to wipe me and take my place, take my body. It's not willful on his part, it's automatic, inevitable, and neither of you can stop it. Can't we just take the chip out? Or switch it off? Either way is out of the question. You die immediately. Vic, you've always come through for me. If there's nothing you can do to help me, then... Well, what the hell do I do? Tell me, please. Vic. 
I wish I knew, kid. Misty. You're asking too much from an old timer like Vic. Come on, V. Let's get you home. And then he died. And I thought I was gonna die. With him in my sleep. Sleep's a small hint of death. The inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean, I could be dead already, right? Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. Here, got some meds for you. Omega blockers. Taken regularly. They'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudoendotrizine's from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak. Giving me a pill to prod that son of a bitch so he can kill me faster? Listen. You're likely to be fine for a while. But sometime down the road, it could turn into pure agony. I'm giving you options, honey. The brain can be tricked. Plain old painkillers do that. Your psyche's gonna die, V. You'll feel your old self slipping away. At some point, you won't recognize yourself. It'll be terrifying. It'll be painful. But it doesn't have to be. Fuck I need pills for. Ought to just stick a gun in my mouth and pull the trigger. Well, that way you'd kill two souls. Is that what you want? I gotta lie down. Here. Got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm? Promise you'll try to get some sleep? Misty, wait. Um, about Jackie. Yeah? He talked about you. <laughs> like lots. We got into a fight. Right before he went off to do this job. He wasn't mad at you. I hope you know that. I know. I just wish our last moments together could have been... different. But right now, you need rest. So sleep. Please sleep. Gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way. You included. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours?
don't smoke. Then go out and get some. Just need one last one. Jesus fucking Christ, man. The fuck kind of joint toy are you supposed to be? Fucking ghost off! <laughs> Who you work for, start talking! Fuck. Fuck. Fucking chip. Rip the thing out myself. No, wait. Ah. Oh. I'll find a way. You hear me? See you never, asshole. Now like that, stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger. I can feel it. Our minds touch on you. I'm like mold on fruit creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. Fuck me.
Takemura here. We must meet. Come to Tom's diner. Hmm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. Shit, not good. suggests coronary implant failure. The remainder of Mayor Ryan's term will be fulfilled by his deputy mayor and closest associate, Weldon Holt. Holt has also announced plans to run for mayor in the upcoming Today, we all mourn the untimely loss of the mayor. So... to look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. This about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorinobu Arasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. You thinking I ought to have a word with her myself? She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. 
Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? You ask a lot of questions. You have many interesting things to say. Might be your turn now to say something interesting. I intend to punish Yorinobu Arasaka severely for the crime he has committed. Sorry I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose, so... B, wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice in Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip. The relic is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prep for the heist. Thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. Untrue. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka. Betrayed it. Hanako-sama, oai tekite koe des. Kochira koso. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. Hmm. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Tom's all right. Not afraid to speak his mind, that's all. He reminds me of my father. He also worked in a kitchen all his life. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor Among Thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Your noble Arasaka would agree. I'm sure. The Parker woman would not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B.
Honor. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. Fine. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Sabro-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called the Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the Queen of Fixers there. Rogue. Mean to say you worked for Saburo, yet got no idea how to talk to the High and Mighty. She wished to have nothing to do with the man accused of murdering Saburo Arasaka. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. Dolma is choosy, expensive, and rude. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Helma, whoever. I must see some friends. Call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Helma, Please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka's still a despotic machine and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. Leave me the fuck alone. You don't need to speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want from me? Are you still upset about the other night? You tried to kill me. Well, I gave it some thought and changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Fuck off, you psychopath. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back. Looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. You're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know, Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seeing your memories, gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. <laughs> 